Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. This is your host Sri Ayer, and I'm here with uh, Professor R Vaidyanathan. Uh, Professor, welcome to P Guru's channel. Thank you very much. Uh, today we would like to talk to you and take your input about uh, the upcoming presidential election in France, where um, the right-wing party uh, Marie Le Pen leader is um, is drawing a lot of support. We don't know if she's going to win, but if you look at the recent past. <clears throat> recent past where we were expecting the outcomes to be one way and the actual outcomes went the other way yeah for instance the Bre brexit vote or uh, the us presidential election in that context how do you see the french presidential election play out the uh, coming french presidential election is uh, actually a very important and major one actually london economist uh, had a cover page on the uh -huh. french revolution mm. they categorized it as uh, you know the emergence of uh, not just a french revolution but a new republic uh -huh. after the original republic of decal uh -huh. if uh, things uh, go in this fashion mm. see the couple of points we should recollect one is uh, the le pen uh, you know is uh, right mm. actually she is now considered as extreme right because mm. the opposition fellow is also right it's, it's oh, between I see. It's two it's right shades of right shades of right mm. now she actually has moved away from her father mm. her father was much more anti jewish and that type of oh, thing oh i see i she see she is uh, much more primarily she is uh, anti eu Mm. she wants to bring back the french uh, uh, no, nationalism mm. and she says france uh, you know usual type mm. of uh, rhetoric mm. france should be by for the french mm. second is she is also significantly against the immigration mm. which uh, one of the uh, important thing for the merkel mm. but uh, she is you know no way she mm. says uh, uh, that's one of the reason why she is against eu i see this whole idea of immigration mm. third is associated with that is the issue of uh, muslims mm. because the majority of the immigrants are Muslim. very majority almost all the immigrants are right, muslims right 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 so she but these are all the, french colonies in the past right yes so but you do she, get this uh, yeah but you see there is a different france mm. having colonies mm. and france becoming a colony <laughs> this is a, this is this is what uh, she is uh, talking about <laughs> You see, she and she is not for this multiculturalism and other. Thing. I see. She feels France should be a dominant mm. French uh, uh, society mm. Mm. in terms of Christian values, mm. and all these others who are coming in mm. have to go uh, uh, with that. <coughs> so this is her mm. thing. The same thing actually happened in Holland. Mm. Uh, Wilders is actually is much more anti-Islam. Greek Wilders, right? Greek right. Wilders is more anti-Islam compared to Le Pen. Mm. he actually has filed a case in the supreme court of netherland mm. uh, telling that quran should be banned mm -hmm. saying that it's a terror book mm. this is the second time actually in the world the first time the sitaram goel filed a case in calcutta high court mm. about the same uh, quran issue mm. anyhow this wider uh, said he didn't win mm. but that's not important he became number 2 mm. and he has uh, you know significant number of uh, percentage of people voting for him mm. see this is what people mistake they mm. immediately say win and lose win and lose is one part of the story right i agree with that right but if you have something like 30% of france or 25% of france mm. uh, going with the le pen mm. it has tremendous implications right because whoever forms a new government right. he has to take this into account correct correct you cannot have a huge uh, number mm. uh, sitting uh, you know in the parliament or mm. uh, in the society mm. which has got a s s solid support mm. so what is called the public opinion mm. has to be respected mm. so either le pen wins or if le pen wins uh, it is a frexit mm. in the sense of france <laughs> leaving the and it's the end of eu oh. that's very clear and many people have already told about it mm. the eu commissioners the other countries mm. because she says poland hungary and other should be with me mm. and she has already Uh, uh, initiated talks in Italy, mm. and so that you know, this breaking is not a very big deal. Mm. See, France leaves obviously EU is not going to sustain. It is the second biggest partner. Up very up major partner. Right? Very major and big. Uh, mm. And actually, if you recall, in the past, mm. France was one of the mm. primary uh, you know, participants of Europe project. Right. Right. The French uh, leaders and others uh, right, actively right. participate. Right. Now they feel uh, the whole thing has gone out of control. Mm. Mm. So and she is also against globalization. Mm. So it's a 
sort of a, what you may call the assertion of the underdogs mm. or what is you know this uh, derisively they are referred to as the mm. uh, lcds are coming to power lowest common denominator oh i see <laughs> the trump is supposed to be representative of lcd mm. because all the people who didn't uh, complete uh, you know school mm. or just completed school they went and voted for him right same thing is happened in brexit mm. most of the voters in brexit who supported brexit were all uh, school finished only right right the uh, the, the highly educated enlightened so called people mm. they were all for britain to be part of 